everybody, Painter Wood with his nog. It's quite nice, but we're not here to talk about that. I was going to say a couple of weeks ago, nearly a month ago now, got a package through the post. I've been busy. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. So, it's the time I finally got, or put aside five minutes or so, you know what I'm like with videos, to have a look at this. It looks well packaged. Down that way up. Uh, <coughs> right, so to start with, there are a couple, we'll say, uh, three in fact, of Wrexham, I presume it's the Wrexham Brewery. Beamouts. Put them over there. So, get into the box. No point having a folding knife unless you fold it. And it's full. Newspaper. Not really. Well, it is. But that's just the packing. And some bits of cardboard. Some more newspaper. And some more bits of cardboard packing. Some carrier bags. Look what you could have won. 100% compostable carrier bags and that looks like a bottle and that looks like a bottle and the rest is just carrier bags and packaging right don't think there was a note but I know it's from No note. But it's from Just Liam. I think that's his YouTube YouTube channel. So we'll get into the uh, bubble wrap. Well wrapped, and we've got a bottle. I know he was going to send this because he went to the brewery to get them. A Rexon export lager, at five percent alcohol. Uh, Frankfurt International Trophy Gold, two thousand and twenty. Thank you very much. I was going to say getting low on beer mail, but well, yes, I am from what I was at. But I've still got another three to do. One's in the fridge. Don't think I'm going to get around to doing that tonight. Uh, and there's another two on the side there. They're from come to me in a bit. It, uh, Cheshire Home Brew 001. I think it is. My mind's gone a bit blank. It does that. 
on quite a regular basis. And I'm buggered if I can remember how to pronounce this. I think it's kitsch. I think the W in the middle of a word is like pronounced a Y. And C's are a hard C, so it's kitsch. I think. I could be completely wrong. Uh, it's a tiny rebel red ale. 4.5% ABV, bottled 21st of the 3rd, 2021, so it's nearly five months old, it's 15th of the 8th now, I don't think you can see anything through that, I'm assuming it's bottle conditioned, I think it is. Oh, the torch works, oh yeah, so that's going to have to settle out. What I shall do, because it's been in the mail, I'm not sure, because I have found, I sat all the bottles straight up, and a couple of them ended up with some sediment up in the top of the neck, which is no good, because obviously when you pour in, you've got to pour it past that sediment, and that's because it'd been sat like that, and then settled into the neck and then turn it upright and it's like it's been on the bottom of the bottle so it stayed in the, in the neck of the bottle so I'll just give it a of course it could explode in my hand doing this it shouldn't right so thank you Liam for two nice beers I'm assuming nice beers. That one's award winning beer and I have tried the kitsch before. At the time it was too citrusy for me. But I have progressed slightly. I can I can drink the um the beer of gold, that's a bit citrusy. And I drink that quite often now. That's the Woodford's Beer Gold. So, anyway, stop waffling. Thank you, Liam. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.